Strengthen immune defences. Open yourself up now to this moment of relaxation. And you can start by taking a deep breath, simply concentrating on the volume of air that perfectly fits into your lungs and then let it descend even further down into your abdomen which inflates like a balloon. Trap this air for one, two, three seconds then release it. Empty your lungs then deflate your abdomen allowing the air to escape with a steady stream through your mouth slightly open. Perhaps you are ready to settle comfortably in a semi-sitting or in a sleeping position. This is the most suitable and most comfortable position. Then take a deep breath again and when you exhale, let your eyes close on their own. Enjoy that feeling of relaxation that settles you down. Just relax, let go and release at each exhalation as though the air you breathe out takes with it small tensions from your body. There is nothing special to do, just to be aware of the comfort that this muscle relaxation brings and it remains the same throughout the course of the session and you just have to enjoy this moment the mind listening to your body breathes normally and maybe you notice that as you breathe normally your muscles are deeply relaxed and this deep state of relaxation diffuses into your body, into your limbs, deeper as you exhale and you know that if the situation required it, you might return to a normal state of alertness. Now you can begin to breathe more slowly, deeply and regularly. Your relaxation improves and your soul is in full possession of its faculties. Be very attentive to my words. You experience this positive and beneficial feeling that you are feeling now in this state of deep relaxation. You fully understand how this opens up new doors to faster learning and the discovery of more effective solutions. This state allows access to your internal resources. You feel well. Imagine you are in a place of your choice. A place where you feel safe, comfortable and in this privileged space you can perceive the value of your inner energies and positive feelings deep within you. So I suggest that you associate this moment, this place with a picture, a word a sound, a song, a movement, a posture. Take the time to think of this word, song or movement that seems the most appropriate. Let it express itself. Did you find it? It is perfect, this image, this sound this gesture, this sensation. I don't know it, but you do. You can use it whenever you want. To find this intimate place 
or this state of well-being and deep relaxation. And this shortcut will be faster and faster, more and more effective as you listen to this sensation. And my voice continues to probe, this voice which could well be your inner voice, the voice of your deep spirit, your deep nature, the voice of your unconscious and while you continue to relax and enter in a gentle idleness, I ask that your conscious mind resist its desire to slip away. And now that you see that your thoughts are clearer, you can remember something important, essential, something that you have succeeded, that you have obtained by yourself. When you might have been younger, younger than you are today. And it brought you so much satisfaction, a feeling, an emotion that you can now take the time to let it come back to the surface. When you simply think about what you have achieved and when you look at what there is to see in this memory, when you hear the sounds, the words that were said and that you remember that smile of satisfaction forming in your abdomen, then appears on your lips. It's so nice. Perhaps you have simply forgotten these tasty sensations. Just as you had easily forgotten to record the feeling of release or relaxation in your body. Before I remind you of this sensation and that you perceive this muscular relaxation that grows, which spreads and which offers you even more comfort to the whole body. And now you notice how easier it is to let your mind drift, to reach this deep relaxation and you can remember the path towards this state of comfort, of appeasement, to be better, to be well and to have nothing to do. Nothing special, nothing in particular. Just remember how nice it is to do nothing. By staying comfortably seated in the best position, the one you have right now, and to find that your breath rhythm is so comforting, regular and peaceful. While on other occasions, in certain times of the past, when you were concerned, completely worried about your thoughts, in those moments when too many thoughts invaded you, it seemed difficult to relax perfectly. While in this moment, do not think of anything in particular. 
as if you were in the center of nowhere. Comfortably disassociated from your environment, the mind in the center and the body elsewhere in two distant spaces here and down. Perfect. You might also be drooling or swallowing. This is a normal sensation and will reoccur during this session. Because saliva accompanies the depth of your relaxation state. Here it is, this important moment in your session. I will ask you through your closed eyelids to fix with great attention an imaginary point which lies between your two eyes, just in the middle of your two eyebrows. Direct your eyeballs on this and the more you fix this point relentlessly, the more intensely you fix it, the more you notice that your perception of the outside world closes instantly. Even your closed eyelids seem more opaque, as if you had closed the curtains or the blinds. Your eyelids are more hermetically closed, like glued together, and as you enter this optimal resource state, I ask you to see how your mind wants to move in the right direction. The one you have chosen for a bigger future, as if it feels open to find better solutions, as it can now focus on how to do, how to offer you what is most favorable Take the measure of this inner power, finally free from any interference and imagine the infinite resources now available to you. All these resources you have so you can better focus on your goal. Your goal of finding a body, an organism that protects itself better, which develops a better regulation of your philosophical flows, a better management of the stress, a restorative sleep, then and now, for your greatest immediate and future benefit. Because you know, your brain controls all your organs and you can direct it to get what you are looking for and even direct your feelings your positive energies, your concentration, so that developing your body's natural barriers becomes so much easier. Easier than developing behaviors which cause fatigue, tensions, and take you away from your needs. Now I would like you to become aware, as of this moment you know a lot more things than at any other time of your life. 
because you have more experience than yesterday and much more than before. For all that you have learned till now has already taught you that you can acquire new knowledge, interesting new solutions with much ease. Then what your past learning has taught you. How can a new idea seem insecure or uncertain at first and then offer a concrete measurable result. How what seems confusing or murky at a moment can become clear and easy to understand just after. How what seems blurred at the beginning can become harmonious and well-ordered after. And it is possible that lately, or for a little longer, when you were thinking about doing something, to regain a reinforced body and spirit, able to better respond to external aggressions, able to orient itself naturally towards foods with a high power of protection. Finally relieved of fatigue, to receptive to stressing agents, a liberated spirit focused on a new dynamic of life. This may have provoked a form of uncertainty confusion. It is possible that you did not know exactly how to start and how to continue to get exactly the results you want. By thinking about this now, it might be giving you pleasure and appreciate that uncertainty or confusion you felt then because part of you knows that confusion is the word to describe the order of things that are not yet ordered. And this part knows with precision how to remember about the confusion that you felt every time when faced with a new situation and how just by asking your inner self how to order this, you immediately felt a form of impatience, a desire to order thoughts, ideas, actions, to easily gain a result. As if that part of you was waiting impatiently for this moment because it's looking forward to results. More simply, because it remembers the happiness you felt each time from this joy, from these inner feelings which accompanies each of your successes. While another part of you has found that some people in front of uncertainty surrender to confusion and yet you know that these people could easily succeed as you and even do as well as the people who succeeded best. It is possible 
that this makes you think that what these people are simply lacking is the pleasure of feeling some form of uncertainty or confusion. The one that leads to impatience, the desire to order things. Or maybe they just forgot to ask questions. How to order these things? What to do to feel this wonderful feeling of success? And you can now patiently understand that all human beings feel insecure, uncertain or confused in the face of novelty. They must feel that because that is what makes them to extend their knowledge, to develop their know-how, to increase their performance, to succeed even more easily every time. So while your conscious mind is wondering how to do this, how to raise the level of its immune defenses faster while respecting your nature, reducing the felt stress, how to optimize these settings to entice your mind, your body to direct you to a better natural and effective solutions before undergoing the effects of two virtuent external agents. I would like you to just take a moment to allow your mind to wander in the past, to return to the uncertainty you felt before knowing how to read, then to write, and what impatience this uncertainty has caused to you. A desire to draw features, curves, that others could understand. The desire to at last give rise to letters, words, phrases. And yet you did not know very well yet how to use this later. How to write would become so important for the rest of your life and yet you have succeeded. And you might even remember the uncertainty, the confusion you felt the first day you had to drive alone, a bicycle or even a car. What uncertainty, what confusion, before all these actions to think, to do, while you have to think and do other things, all these thoughts, actions that occupied your mind, your body, as they seemed complex, to order, to coordinate. But your impatience, your desire to know, became stronger and you still have succeeded. So today you understand that being just uncertain enough can accomplish your goal faster. That feeling an uncertainty, a confusion at the beginning, is important to become very proficient 
after. And while you think about it, you associate this idea with your goal to find a more resistant organism that you like, that you take pleasure in satisfying healthily. So now I will ask you to project yourself in the near future, a future in which you have reached your goal. That's it, you've arrived. You have reached your goal, you feel an inner strength, an increased resistance in your body. This is so reassuring. Bravo. You observe the person you have become, who radiates of health. You notice all the details, the colors of your skin, the gestures, the postures, and the approach, as well as the general appearance. You hear what others say, these beautiful sounds that go straight to your heart. You feel the lightness, the dynamic that now dwells in you the feeling of being in perfect health. Compliments, congratulations. You can be a happy person. You can be proud of you. Proud to go straight ahead. Take the time to enjoy it. And maybe you can take the time to look behind when today will have become a day of the past to rethink how you used uncertainty, confusion to get the result that filled you with such great joy. And whenever you like, when you think that you have done all that you had to do, put in your best effort, found the best ideas you have and how to implement them when you will feel the deep feelings that something good and important has come true. You will be able to begin the process and complete it here and now. But in the meantime, Take the time to enjoy all these good feelings, this good moment. You will only have to mentally count down from five to one, and at one, you will be back in the present, in shape, full of positive energies, because you know that the processes you have put in place will continue today, tomorrow, and in the following days.